We'll talk about stadium changes. The Carrier Dome is right in the midst of a big one for its next event. The Dome is getting all set up to host Monster Jam on Saturday. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski takes us inside for the impressive changeover. It's a carefully choreographed operation of equipment and people hard at work right now meticulously manufacturing a special playing service for all those mean machines ready to roar around the famed Carrier Dome this weekend. The dirt's always challenging, getting the right dirt. But this um, is perfect. It's right? unbelievable. I cannot believe um, how dry it is. It's now the ninth year for Monster Jam here in the Dome, but Sala says each year the crews make it exciting and new. It's entertainment. At the end of the day, it is great entertainment. It's family fun. You'll see as many kids here as you will adults. Yeah. So the kids actually really love this event. Whether this is your first time coming to Monster Jam or you've been before, you have never seen a course quite like this one, including the huge jump they're making out of that old school bus. On the other side of the, the, the arena here, you see a very big log, yeah, yeah. big tree they cut down, brought specifically for this event. We're going to do some cool stuff with that. So again, it'll all play out. Fans will be very excited. If you're not a dome regular, there are some new policies and procedures that went into place starting with football season last fall. Bring your things in clear bags only, and you'll have to walk through metal detectors before you get into the dome. But Sala says it's all meant to make things safer and actually get you inside faster so you can sit back and have a great night of fun. If you want to be entertained, come to this event. Evidently, lots of people do because tickets are going fast for Monster Jam 2019 at the Dome. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Okay, a couple of other things to remember. The Dome opens at 2.30 Saturday afternoon, so be sure to get there early and hang out before the show starts at 7 so you don't get caught in traffic. And it will be packed there. There are already around 33,000 tickets sold, so only about 5,000 tickets are left. And unless you have pre-purchased a parking pass, by all means, use SkyTop for yeah, parking. Yeah, it's also okay to use ride sharing, but you won't get dropped off right next to the Dome. It is a bit of a walk at University Place and Irving Avenue.